I think that having a dementia diagnosis gives you a stigma. But being a same-sex couple and having a dementia diagnosis is like you have a double stigma. And what's been wonderful with um, Rachel is that we've been treated as people. Hi everybody, my name is Chris. I had a, initially I had a diagnosis of early onset vascular dementia in 2016. And at that time I was living in Cardiff. And um, three months after my diagnosis, I lost my job. Hi everyone. My name is Heather and I'm the partner of and live with Chris, who has a diagnosis of um, well, a couple of different types of dementia, one of them connected to Lewy bodies. I kept asking the GP, um, can I see a neurologist? And one of the reasons for that was that um, I have to reapply for my driving license every year. I'd had a, 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 you know, brain scans so when I went there, I was just expecting to be told that there were some changes in the scan and, the, you know, some changes maybe for the worse. Um, but I wasn't expecting to get a completely new diagnosis. And I didn't realise that you could get more than one form of dementia. Um, and I knew nothing whatsoever about Lewy body dementia. Yeah, it was a real shock. And the huge thing was is that I wasn't referred anywhere or signposted even to to any services it was kind of left to us again to do our own research around it to find out well how is it going to affect us on a day-to-day -day basis i wanted to know more about it and one of these i'd like to know why this is happening and you know what can i do about this so until i met Rachel and spoke to Rachel, I didn't understand those things. We have been able to take the questions that we can't get an answer to, to our Admiral Nurse. And not only did Rachel speak with me, but she spoke to Heather as well. She spoke to us as a couple. Because people forget that when I got my diagnosis of dementia, it just doesn't affect me. It affects Heather and my family and friends as well. We feel very treated as a couple and as people. And I am learning through Rachel's strategies um, to kind of not get hung up on the little thing. You know, those things are, are they don't matter in life. What matters is the time that we have together. I think that having a dementia diagnosis gives you a stigma. But being a same-sex couple and having a dementia diagnosis is like you have a double stigma. And what's been wonderful with um, Rachel is that we've been treated as people. And, and that's important to us because so many times we've denied that we're a couple. Uh, but why should we have to do that? 